All right, so those are kind of the ideas. I always wrap up the discussion with as a service with just a little analogy about pizza. I always find people can understand anything if you relate it back to pizza. It's just one of those things. So, pizza as a service. Traditionally, if I want to sell pizza, right, I want to produce pizza, I want to sell pizza, what I've done traditionally is I have um, had my own facility, I bought my building, or at least rented a building, I brought in my own equipment, I brought in my ovens, I come in and, and pay for the refrigeration unit, I have all the supplies from the pizza boxes to the pizza dough to the front area where we stock vegetables and all those different things. Everything is mine. And to move into there and start to make pizza, that's expensive. But when everything in there is mine, I'll do what I want to do. I come in one day and I decide I don't want to sell pizza, I'll make chicken. Right? I'll sell chicken, or I'll cook a steak in the ovens, or an omelet. I'll just bring in whatever I want. Everything's under my complete control. There's no framework that I really have to stick within. But it's all my responsibility, right? I have to make sure I turn off the ovens in the evening. If I leave those ovens on and my building burns down, I'm the one who's liable. I'm the one who's out of luck. So what I decide after a while is, based on the amount of pizza I'm selling, those overhead expenses, they're just too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around in my neighborhood, my region, and I find that there are uh, vendors selling what's referred to as kitchen as a service. So I walk in. They already have the ovens. They already have the refrigeration units. They already have electricity and power that they're paying for. Now, what I have to do is I have to bring in my own pizza dough. I have to bring in my toppings. And I have to cook the pizza, right? But they give me that framework. I still have a lot of flexibility here, right? They're giving me kitchen, gas, onion, uh, ovens, power. I can still bring in a chicken sandwich if I want. And, and, you know, I can still cook other things. I have a ton of flexibility. They're just giving me a kitchen. Do with it what I will. Now, the deal there is I don't need that flexibility. I'm just going to make pizza. The pizza dough is expensive. I don't need, um, you know, I don't need that degree of flexibility. So I might use instead a store that's there that serves pizza. And I'm just going to take advantage of their make it yourself on Wednesday night special. So I'm going to come in. They already give me the pizza dough, right? They give me the framework. Um, I can't make chicken there anymore. It's a structured environment, but I'm still pretty flexible. If I want to put artichokes on pizza, don't ever do that. If I want to put artichokes or worse, pineapple on pizza, pineapple does not belong on pizza. But if I want to, I can. But I'm building pizza, right? I mean, that's all we can do in that environment. But I can build whatever pizza I want. Or the final option, which most of us choose, we just call up Domino's or Papa John's or Pizza Hut or any of the local pizza delivery places. And we say, hey, I want a pizza with pepperoni and cheese. Now, if I want something crazy on my pizza, when I call Domino's, they either have that service or they don't. And if I want artichokes on a Domino's pizza, that's not happening. They don't serve that. They don't do it. So I lose my flexibility, but man, I don't have much work to do at all. I'm not worrying about the oven temperatures. I'm not worrying about the pizza dough. That's all their responsibilities. I don't get the customization. I lose some of the control for ease of use. So if you kind of think about this pizza as a service idea with infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, and you keep with the idea that if you turn it over to the vendor, they take control out of your hands, right? So you're no longer responsible for, which is fine, but you lose the flexibility of as well. And that's how you can kind of think about infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. 
I don't know about you, but that particular pizza analogy made me quite hungry. And if you'll look at the time, it is 11 o'clock. And that is actually, even though we had a little delay there, that's actually where we wanted to be for this first segment. It's just to kind of introduce the ideas to you about deployment models, the various service structures. And then as we move on, we're going to expand and we're going to look at how we're going to incorporate these various services into our organization and what are our responsibilities with security. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for the day, but thank you for stopping by. Sorry about the little bit of the delay this morning, but I think we, we're rocking and rolling. We have a C-RISK class coming up at 1130 that I'll be hosting as well, so I'd love to see you back for C-RISK. You're never too young or too old to learn about risk management. So I hope to see you back at 1130. Thanks so much. And this same class will pick up again on Thursday, same time, same channel. Have a great day, you guys, and hope to see you soon.